Every Tuesday, traffic anchor Jason Luber tackles a question that's driving you crazy. He joins us now. Jason, this week, it's a complaint about the Pecos roundabouts. Yeah, Molly, I receive more complaints about these roundabouts more than just about any roundabout in not only Metro Denver, but roundabouts in general. And it's really unique designs. You have two roundabouts along Pecos on either side of I-70 across the bridge there. And then having 48th Avenue as part of the mix really doesn't help the driver confusion at all. So it's Kathy from Denver who writes, what's driving you crazy? The roundabout at Pecos 48th and I-70 is dangerous. The car is getting on or near i 4 or 48th Avenue do not yield, which makes it very difficult for cars coming off I-70 to get in the roundabout. I see a traffic light there in the future. No, we're not going to see a traffic light there, Kathy. And after watch, watching the traffic flow in that roundabout, it seems the drivers coming off of westbound I-70 aren't yielding before going into the roundabout. Those drivers might be under the impression, since they're coming off a highway, that they have the right of way into the roundabout and don't need to yield. Those drivers from westbound I-70 do need to yield to the drivers already in the roundabout or at least slow down before heading in which allows for the drivers from 48th Avenue to get in soon CDOT's going to be modifying the road markings in the roundabout to make it clearer what lane drivers should be in and help drivers steer clear of each other and stay in the proper lane because up to this point drivers are running into each other and too often they're hitting each other in the roundabout I saw a lot of that people crossing the lanes into the roundabout when I was uh, watching the intersection and when I went through the five years of crash data from the Denver Police Department. I made a rough count of all the crashes that have happened in the north and the south roundabout, and it's really a surprising number. You can read all about that part of the story uh, right now on the DenverChannel.com. You click on Denver 7 traffic and then driving you crazy. Yeah, those roundabouts can be tricky. Thank you, Jason.